In this video, we are going to see how we can add all of these inventory items that we get as the opening inventory. So we will create all of these items, put their opening quantity rate, and then this will be the total amount for each. And this should make this total right here, which is 453,000 as an opening balance. And if you remember, we didn't also put the stock or inventory total balance because it is a control account. So control account simply means that when we enter the individual stock details, along with the opening balances, that balance should accumulate and automatically be updated in the single ledger with the total balance. So to add the inventory items, first of all, if we go to the left hand corner, we can see all the sections right here, sales, purchases, but there's specific area which is called items where we just click on the plus icon or we can just directly click on this items and it will show us the summary of items right here but since we haven't entered any of the item on the right hand side we can see create a new item option so click here we need to choose whether it is a goods or service so first item is Corolla windscreen just copy this, paste it right here. It is a good unit uh, is already created, whether it's box, dozen, each. So we just have to choose the relevant one. We want pieces. So I'll choose that. And also if you, uh, some of them are not relevant to you, you can delete that as well. As you can see kilometers, we don't have this. So we can delete this from the section. So pieces, sales information, selling price. We don't know the selling price yet but since it is a compulsory field we might increase it a little bit this is the cost price and i'll change it to 500 let's say selling price is 500 account is already selected to sales that means whenever we uh, sell this inventory item it will automatically hit this ledger cost cost is 400 and whenever we purchase it will go to the inventory and when we sell, it is automatically charged to cost of goods sold and the sales as well. So in both of these descriptions, we'll copy the same name, paste it in both descriptions. Preferred vendor, we can choose any preferred vendor if we normally purchase from them. Now it says here, do you want to keep track of this item? Enable the inventory to view the stock based on sales and purchases transactions to record for it. Settings, preferences, items to enable the inventory. So this means that even though we entered the item with the basic information, we still didn't see the option to update the inventory details. That is quantity in stock and hence the opening balance. So what we'll do is just save it at this point. We will edit it later on. Now we need to enable the inventory tracking on the right hand side. We have the settings option. Just click here. And here we click on the item section, click on items and click on enable inventory tracking. Here we just have to mention the start date from which you start tracking the inventory on Zoobox. So in this case, it's 1st of January. If you want to enable some more features like show out of stock warning when the item stock drops below zero. So it will automatically show you the warning notify me if the item quantity reaches the reorder point so if you're maintaining a specific reorder point you can enable this feature and not only that you can specify or email to specific person zoho books will automatically do it for you and you can update the price list and other features but we will explore them later on first of all just enable that and let's see what changes does it have now let's go to the home tab by just clicking on this zoho book sign Go to the items, click on items again. And here we have the item already added. But when we click on this, it will be chosen and we want to edit this. Just simply select this item and then we will see this overview screen. From here we can choose edit. And now we have the option to track the inventory for this item. Let's click here. We have this further information now. Inventory account is already selected to inventory asset inventory valuation method. We have first in first out and we did average costing. Nowadays, most of the businesses only use the average costing. So I'll choose that. 470 is the opening quantity. And what is the rate per unit? 
rate per unit is 400. So here we have it, click on save. And that's how we entered our first inventory. Now, if you want to enter more items, we just have to go to the item section, just deselect that, and then you should be able to see this icon. Click on new. Next item is civic headlights. Unit is pieces. Selling price, I don't know the selling price, but let's just put 250 here because it is a compulsory field. Sales account is already selected. Purchase account, cost price is 400. Account is already selected. I'll just choose and copy and paste uh, both in the descriptions with the same name. Track this item for inventory. Inventory account, we might have to select that. Inventory asset. Inventory valuation method is weighted average. Opening stock is 950 and rate is 150. So 950 and rate is 150. Click save. Again, let's add more. You get this option of plus right here as well to create a new inventory item. Next is Prius wheel cups. Unit price is pieces. Selling price is 50. Selling price, I don't know the selling price. I'll just put, let's say 70 here. Ledgers are all selected. In the description, I'll paste that. Cost price is 50. Cost of goods sold account is already selected. I'll just paste this in the description as well. We can choose any preferred vendor, but just move to the track inventory section. Inventory account is this one. Opening quantity stock is 250. Valuation method, I'll choose weighted average and opening rate is 50. Click save. Let's click on the plus sign again. Next is Prius rear lights. It's in pieces. Selling price is just put a little higher than the cost price. 650, let's say. Account is already selected to sales. Cost price is 200. Description, copy and paste in both areas. You can choose preferred vendor. Inventory account is inventory asset. Opening stock is 550. Inventory valuation method, weighted average, and opening stock rate per unit is 200. Click on save. So we have created all the items, but we just have to confirm whether it is accumulated and shown as a total balance in chart of accounts or not. So we have two ways. First of all, we will check the individual chart of accounts and then we will extract the trial balance as well. So click on accountant, click on chart of accounts and just locate the inventory account. So here it is inventory asset. It is in stock. Click here and we can see the balance is automatically updated. Let's confirm it with the reports as well. Click on reports. Choose trial balance from the search function and we can set the period. It's already set to 1st of January. So under inventory asset, we have 453,000 shown on the debit side. So now you will notice that in liability section, that opening balance difference will automatically be eliminated. Finally, we just have to confirm whether we have this same debit and credit balance in the project as well or not. So we have 4762730 both on the debit and credit side. That means our implementation of the software is completely done. This is the practical situation how you implement the software. Only the data will be changed and in more quantity, but the method will always remain the same. Now we are considering that we have entered all the chart of accounts along with the balances, the customers, we have updated all the customers with balances, vendors and with balances and we have put the inventory with opening balances as well. That means we are live on the system and now we start working on the day-to-day -day activities like purchasing something, selling items, and all the other stuff, making journal entries, returning some items. So we will see all of these examples now. 
So just try this by yourself, enter the inventory details, complete it until this point and I'll see you in the next one.